Sarah. I have a project share today. This is a um, mixed media mixed media canvas, and I am planning on. I'm gonna go. Joanne's has two for fifty. They're fifty percent off, and they have two packs. So for seven bucks, you can get two. And I'm gonna get the bigger ones of these, like the. I forget how big they are, but they're bigger than this. The next size up, these are um, eight by tens, I guess. Or let me see. Yeah, eight by ten. Um, but they were so fun, you guys. I honestly really enjoyed these. These it was just like a bigger version of an ATC, kind of, you know. Um, I did this uh, mixed media when I did my swap with Birdie, and I used the same techniques basically in just a bigger surface so that's why I'm looking forward to um, doing it on an even bigger canvas and maybe that way it'll be spaced out more because you know I tend to um, I can't stop myself like I keep adding leaves or I keep adding 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 so um, and I like them I think they turned out really really sweet so let me know what you think but let me go through it real quick I did do a step-by-step -step process video um, that I'm kind of converting right now so I'll post that um, it's two parts and it's about 30 minutes each so it's a little long but this I just wanted to do a share um, I collaged the background first with just um, napkins different color napkins a little bit of paper um, when that's dry uh, gesso and then I on this one, I figured it out though. You, I, I went ahead after I painted and add my color, and all I did was blue and yellow. And I used the satins. I tried to use my Martha Stewart um, pearls and satins, like everything shiny and I embossed. I put gold. Like there's definitely um, pearl on the birdie, but um, these two, blue and yellow, make green. So I thought that would be a good combination. If I blended and it mixed, it would make green, which is perfect. So um, it was so fun. Like, I don't know. I think uh, those of you who do mixed media may know better than I do because I didn't know what I was doing, really. I had an idea because my son's girlfriend, Liz, I should go get my phone. But anyway, I took a picture of it. Um, she had a print of like, I think her mom got it for her. And it was just three birds on a tree, just like this. And they look very much like my little birds that I had done previously in one of those ATCs. So I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try that. And it just kind of totally inspired me to do it in a bigger format, you know, like make the ATCs bigger. So, um, but the tree, I just painted that in. I was going to use paper and I used book pages for the birds again, but you could use any kind of paper or you could basically paint them on. Um, <clears throat> so what I take you through on this one, I did change a little bit for this one because I realized that <clears throat> um, I, I did too much embossing on here and I did it at the end and I, I did do the embossing. I still embossed. I mean, you can see. There's just leaves here and there. One, I think there's about five or six. Here's one, and, and they're in gold. I highlighted some of the leaves with gold too, like gold paint. I just put a little line, like the vein line is gold. But, um, and I, like I said, I used my pearls. This is the second time I filmed it because, filmed this because I have, I got a new fan. Let me show you my fan. I clipped it up here, and what I'm noticing, and you'll hear this if you watch my, walk through you'll hear the fan from time to time but it's not too bad like I move the camera enough and I turn the fan sometimes too so it it doesn't totally it's it's annoying but it's not that bad you can still hear me but it just kind of like it's like this blowy noise so at least I figured that out and stuff <laughs> I'll have to make sure I remember that because it's hot here today and I needed the fan but um so yeah and then I outlined everything with this is paint mostly um, I used the only thing I did use my Faber Castell pit pen because I put these on with gel medium and I shaded around everything with my pit pen but that's it everything else is paint stamping and uh, oh I used the the lid of this to make my white circles and then I used a lid of a pen the pen cap on here to make those white circles 
it was so fun. I really, really had fun. So I'm having company this weekend and we're going to paint some. So like I said, I'm going to go get the bigger version because they're on sale at Joann's. 50% off for a two pack. I don't know if I said that. I might be repeating myself because I just filmed this again. But um, so basically, yeah, uh, I added these leaves are the Dina Wakely stamp set and the little ones that I embossed are from the Dina Wakely stamp set too. I just used these but they're simple enough to draw. I mean you could totally draw those and and cut them out and then I just cut them out. Um, but yeah the birds so here like yeah I just stamped them on book paper and then cut them out and then the birds I just they're they're so easy. And like if the if you don't see the black line, that's because I changed the shape when I was cutting them. I didn't like the shape. So I like rounded it off more or something. And I was playing with their beaks too, the shape of their beak. I mean you could do anything, but this is the most simple little bird. And I just wanted because the my saying says, be yourself, everyone else is taken. I think I might hang this in Maya's room. I put the blue eye. She has green eyes, but I should I could change it still. And just made, you know, and it's, this is actually a red, it's called cher oh, Hollyberry. And it is a pearl, Martha Stewart pearl, but I love it. It looks pink. I love it so much. I'm really, really happy with it. And it was so fun. So you guys, if you're beginners at mixed media, I think the walkthrough might be helpful because it's in real time and I struggle when I watch mixed media videos if they speed them up and they're doing a bunch of things and it's like sometimes it gets confusing and I need a process. I feel more comfortable when I have, I'm a list maker so I need to kind of know where I'm going and this was so easy and good for me because I did. I had a total plan. I knew where I was going. I knew I had a tree and I knew I had birds. and. There's leaves. I mean, it was so easy. So I'm thinking of words for this one. I'm not sure if I'm going to put words, but I could just put fly or something or, you know, spread your wings. I might put spread your wings on this one in bigger letters because I just um, hand wrote these words, but I could stamp spread your wings or, you know, don't be afraid to fly or something. And then I just painted um, the edges. I love, actually, I love this color combo. It's these two colors. Uh, no, it's not. It's this color and this color mixed. That's, they're, they're kind of like brush mixed. They're not mixed mixed. Like I hit it anyway, but it was so, this is such a pretty combo. I love that combo. But what else can I tell you? Oh, on this one too, I sponged through a stencil. So I have stars in gold here. I sponged, I used my sponge and, cause I don't have, I have sprays, but I really didn't want to spray. I just, so I have hearts here in gold. I have some more stars up there and I have circles that I sponged through a stencil here. Um, the rest is just stamping. And like I said, I used for the circles, I, I just used those lids and gesso. And that's basically it. Blah, blah, blah. If you guys have any questions or thoughts, I would love to hear from you. Um, it looks kiddish. It does look, you know, coloring book or whatever people say or whatever, but I don't care. Like, I think it's, I'm pretty happy with this one. I did, a, I want to do a house one. I just ordered a house stamp. It's a Stampenda stamp and it's a small house. And I'm going to make some ATCs with that, and then we'll see if I go bigger with that, too. I know how easy it is to make houses. Like, you could totally make houses. Like, I just feel like doing this all of a sudden. I totally, like, it was so fun. So, um, I hope you guys like, and thanks for watching.